So let's look at the white legged poses. We'll look a bit at the preserita, white legged stance, and then at the samakonasana, the straddle splits, and also the upavista konasana, white legged seated forward fold. What's important with the straddles is to have the whole of the leg engaged. Otherwise, you'll collapse on one side or you'll have some knee injuries because the knees are the smaller joints and they just suffer all the time for all that's unstable in the hips. So come to the center of your mat and find a wide stance. Ideally, we say that when the arms are straight, the heels are under the wrists. So that will give you an idea whether your legs are wide enough. With this stance, the hips are square. The legs are not closed, but even though the legs are open, the hips are not. The hips are facing forward. It's important here to keep pressing the outer feet down it's easy to collapse in the arches, or maybe it's not, depending on who you are. But make sure the whole time that you're pressing the outer feet down, the centers of the heels down, and also the big toe mounts of the feet down. From here you can do different variations. So you can inhale and gaze up, bring the chest up, the back of the heart up to outer back bend. Or you can exhale forward. If you're exhaling, keep having that back bend at the lower back because that will allow you to have more access in your forward fold because you're turning the tailbone back and up back bending the curl the tailbone which gives you more access for lower belly coming in and towards the ground in order to come up you can always place the hands to the hips first for more safety or otherwise keep the sending navel in and up closing the ribs and then pressing the feet down you can come up from here if you want to go to a sideways splits um, you start opening up the feet but what's important is to always press the outer feet down if you start feeling anything on the knees, then make sure you're, you're pressing the outer feet down because if you collapse in the inner feet, it's easy to start having some um, unease in the outer knees. So if your outer knees are crying, then press outer feet down. From here, again, you can add a small back bend, tailbone back and up, navel in and forward. And then if it's available, you move to the elbows. Keep pressing our feet down and don't rush it. Make sure that the hips haven't moved back. So hips are at the same line as the feet. Shoulder blades back, crown of the head forward. Splits just take time. I know because I'm not there yet and I've been practicing for a while. But it will come. Of course, again, it depends on your body. Not everyone's body will take the same time. But everyone needs patience. Otherwise, you can hurt yourself and you don't want to have any injuries. Because <laughs> we want a safe practice. With time, your feet might be able to open up all the way. But what's important is to keep Standing outer feet down and here navel in and up and also kadu banda, kadu hips into the pelvis. Keep sending the femur bones, the leg bones into the hip creases and keep pressing outer feet down. In order to come out of it, you can use the hands and start bringing feet in again. And here you are. The final thing is the wild legged seated forward fold, Upavista Konasana. So, what's important 
again is to send both of the feet away from you and heels away from you. That again engages everything, just like everything is engaged when you're pressing the feet on the ground, when you're standing up. Flex the toes, spread the toes, and keep sending both of the feet away from you while the toes come back. Keep sending heels away from you while the hips come into the hip sockets. And keep sending heels onto the ground. By pressing the heels on the ground, you're contracting your quads. And then it just takes time. So in Ampavista Konasana, in order to find that back bend of the tailbone, you can use the hands to move the sit bones back away from you, but again with care. And then when you have the tailbone going back, you have more access for the pubis to come back and the navel to come in and forward, ribs close, short legs back. If you cannot forward fold at all, then it's fine. Stay up here and keep sending the navel in and up, closing the ribs, short blades down, crown of the head forward. You don't want to just crouch. This is just not doing anything. The idea is to keep the integrity of the torso, short blades back and down, crown of the head back and up. And then with time, by sending heels away from you, balls away from you, contracting the thighs, sending the pubis back, you'll have more access to bringing the shoulder blades back and the chest forward. This is one of the poses that we recommend spending time in, so you can Answer your emails from here, watch television, read books, stay here for a while and then when you're ready use your hands to come up, use your hands to bring the knees in and you're done. Ciao. And live video.